Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mechanical Academy and our today's learning object is design against fluctuating load and we learn this during solving this problem and this problem has been selected from GET 2021 set ME1. So let us see what it has been asked. A machine part in the form of cantilever beam is subjected to fluctuating load as shown in the figure. So this is the figure of cantilever beam and the load varies from 800 Newton to 1600 Newton. So the load is varying from 800 Newton to 1600 Newton that is fluctuating load. The modified endurance yield and ultimate strength of the material are 200 MPa, 500 MPa and 600 MPa respectively. So modified endurance strength, yield strength and ultimate strength of the materials are given. And the beam cross section is also given here. Width is 12 millimeter and height or depth is 20 millimeter. So this is a rectangular cross section beam and length of the beam is 100 millimeter and we have to determine the factor of safety of the beam using what modified Goodman criteria. So here the first of all the load is fluctuating load that is so now let us learn how to design in such cases that is fluctuating load. So the load is fluctuating that is if this is load value, this is time, then our load is like this. Sorry. So this is minimum load and this is value of maximum load and this is mean value of the load and this is called load amplitude. So this is P max maximum load, this is P mean value of minimum load, this is mean load and this is amplitude of the load. So PA that is amplitude of the load that is P max minus P mean divided by 2 that is how much 1600 minus 800 1600 minus 800 divided by 2 that is 400 Newton. So this is load amplitude and mean load is how much that is P max plus P mean divided by 2 is 1600 plus 800 that is 2400 by 2 is 1200 Newton. So these are two components of the load. Now we have to plot a diagram and there are several criteria. Here we have to use modified Goodman criteria. So let me draw the diagram by using that we will design the design against the fluctuating load. So we will take mean stress along horizontal axis and stress amplitude along vertical axis. Sigma A is stress amplitude and sigma M is mean stress. Whereas sigma A is what? Sigma A is P A if this distance is E that is P into E is the moment. So P into E is the moment 
m y that is distance of the layer from neutral axis because this beam is going to be subjected a bending moment because due to this load this cantilever beam is going to subject it to a bending stress and that bending stress is nothing but sigma so this is the amplitude of the stress component that is m y into i so let me write from the basics that is sigma is m y by i so here m is p a into e y is half of this and i let it drop similarly sigma m will be p m e y by i so both the cases e y and i are constant for this beam e y and i are constant only changing parameter is force that is fluctuating from 800 Newton to 1600 Newton. So, Sigma A by Sigma M, this ratio will be always P A by P M. So, Sigma A by Sigma M will be P A by P M. Now, what is Goodman diagram? So, to draw, let us plot here AC. AC is modified endurance strength s y t is the yield strength of the material s u t is the ultimate strength of the material and here s y t so if we draw by the scale then i think this will be something here AC. So, Goodman diagram is nothing but the line joining by AC and SUT and SYT and YT joining them these two this is yield line. This is yield line and this one is Goodman line. The significance of these lines are what inside this area that is say this is this inside area that is inside of this the design is safe and these are the failure points. So outside of this boundary line these are the failure points. So these are the failure points. So design during design we have to choose such a type that is the points comes inside those lines. So modified Goodman diagram here it is mentioned that is modified Goodman diagram modified on the region safe region under modified Goodman diagram is this one that is O this point is A this point is B this point is C. So O A B C is the safe region under this criteria that is modified Goodman diagram. So, this is modified Goodman diagram. So, we know one relationship that is sigma A by sigma M is P A by P M. So, here we have already determined the value of P A and P M. So, let us write here P A is 400 and P m is 1200 that is 1 by 3. So, if we draw the load line, so if we draw the load line and then if the slope of load line is theta, then tan of theta, tan of theta is what tan of theta is sigma a by sigma a that is nothing but 1 by 3. So, this is the load line 
this is the equation of load line also so sigma a by sigma m is one third and inverse of one third that is the slope of this line so this is what this is load line so we got three lines this is yield line this one is goodman line this is load line and this is modified goodman line which has been mentioned in the problem so that is modified goodman line now if this is my load line then this intersecting point here that point is nothing but coordinate of that point is sa comma sm so sa and sm is what sa and sm are the maximum value of stress components because the stress components go up to sa comma sm beyond that failure takes place so these are the permissible value of stress components so if we go to the concept of factor of safety then factor of safety is sa by sigma i that is also sm by sigma i so this is one condition and we have got one relationship between sigma a that is equation one now from this line that is this load line is intersecting this line that is the goodman line here so in modified goodman diagram the load line will intersect with goodman line so intersection of these two goodman line and load line is nothing but sa comma sm so equation of good goodman line will be what sigma a sigma a sorry sa which is intersecting at ac plus sm by sut is 1 that is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 equation of the straight line now if we replace sa and sm by sigma a and sigma m then we will get sigma a by ac value of ac is 200 mpa that is modified endurance strength so 200 plus sigma m sut is 600 so 600 is equal with 1 by f of s because sigma a is sa is sigma a into f of s so this is another equation so this is equation 2 now solving equation 1 and 2 we can easily find the factor of safety that is f of s so before going to that let us find what is the value of sigma a or sigma m because we know relationship between sigma a and sigma m so sigma a by 200 plus sigma m is 3 into sigma a by 600 is 1 by f of s so let us find what is sigma a sigma a is p a into e y i p a so what is p a p a is 400 newton e is 100 millimeter that is 0 0.1 meter so 0 0.1 all terms in si we are taking all terms into si unit what is y if this is neutral axis this is neutral axis then y is this distance so that is 10 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 because 10 in millimeter then i will be 1 by 12 this is a rectangular cross section into width so that is 12 into depth is 20 so 20 cube into 10 to the power minus 12 
all terms in meter. So, 12, 12 cancelled out. Here it will be 400, 400 divided by 2 q 10 to the power minus 9 minus 3 that is into 10 to the power 6 this much Pascal. 2 cube is 8. So, 400 by 8 is 50 into 10 to the power 6 pa that is 50 mpa. So, value of sigma a is 50 mpa and if we put the value of sigma a into this equation that is equation 2 then we will get the value of factor of safety. So, let us do it here. So, sigma a is 50 divided by 200 plus 3 into 50 divided by 600 is 1 by f of s. That is 1 by 4. This is also 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by f of s. So, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1 by 2. So, factor of safety becomes 2. So, answer of this problem is 2. So, now let us summarize what we have done. So, when a load fluctuating load is given, you have to calculate two components amplitude and mean value of the load. From that you will calculate amplitude stress amplitude and stress mean stress. Then plot the diagram. Sigma m is along horizontal axis and sigma a is along vertical axis. There are several criteria. Yield criteria, yield line is this one. By joining yield strength and yield strength both vertical and horizontal axis you will take SYT joining them that is yield line. What is Goodman line? This is modified endurance strength. By joining modified endurance strength and ultimate strength that is Goodman line. And combining these two yield line and Goodman line we will get another criteria which is called modified Goodman diagram. And the safe zone is OABC what I have discussed earlier. Another diagram is there that is called Soderberg diagram. That is joining SA and SYT. So, this is Soderberg diagram. Soderberg diagram is this one and another line that is parabolic nature joining these two that is known as Jarvan line. So, this is the diagram against fluctuating load. Now, first task is to find out sigma A by sigma M. You will get the slope of the load line. So, this is our load line. Then you will get sigma sorry SA comma SE this point by intersection of load line and criteria on which you are designing. So, SA and SE where SA is sigma A into f of s and you will get this equation. If the criteria is changed then this equation will be changed from this diagram you can select this diagram and by this you will get factor of safety of the design. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel to get new videos on mechanical engineering.